Hello guys, so today I'm going to share with you guys 13, yep, 13 favorite lip colors for the fall. A lot of these colors are very similar to each other. I do have a few different ones, but most of them are very similar. Uh, ironically, today I'm wearing a bright lip color because I was just in the mood for a bright lip color, but uh, these are definitely the colors that I gravitate towards during the fall. So... I'm just going to pick randomly. I was going to do lip glosses too, but then it would just be a little bit too much in this video. So if you do want to see my favorite fall lip glosses, I can definitely do that for you guys. So, uh, let's just begin. This is in no particular order. The first one is from Sonia Kashuk. And this one is in Ruby Rose. This is my very first Sun Kashuk lipstick. I love it. Super creamy, super pigmented, beautiful. And I will swatch this for you. Just a very bright berry shade. Uh, definitely a little bit more brighter than the ones that I will be sharing with you. I love it. It's definitely a pinkier berry rather than a more uh, wine berry shade. I know, I described my colors wonderfully. Okay, the next one is from Wet n Wild. This one is 522A. This is like their 99 cents lipsticks. Gotta love them for the price. And this one, again, is just a creamy finish. Very pigmented, beautiful. So this is just your, you know, average berry shade. Very pretty. I love these colors. They just glide on so beautiful. And they stain your lips. They're just, they're wonderful for 99 cents. The next one is another uh, Wet n Wild lip color. This is from the Matte line. And I have three of them to share with you. This is 916D. This one is definitely a uh, deep purple. Gorgeous. And I believe this is called like Raven Raisin. I'm not sure. I don't have the name. But there it is right there. Is this not gorgeous? I love a purple lip. I love it. I know it's not for everybody, but I love purple lips. The next one, um, if you like purple lips but a little bit more subdued, this is 907C, and this one is called Mauve Outta Here. And this is another Wet n Wild matte lipstick. Gorgeous. So here it is. It's like a pinky purple. Very pretty. And these colors, these matte colors, look even more gorgeous when you have like a lip gloss on top of them. Uh, let's see, the next one, this is a OCC lip tar. This one is in Strumpet. If I could suggest any OCC lip tar, I would definitely suggest this one. It's just stunning. You need the slightest bit of this. I'm almost afraid to swatch this because my finger is going to be stained now. But I only put the slightest bit because I don't want a huge stain on my hand. But there's Strumpet. You can definitely deepen it up a little bit more than that. But it's gorgeous. Love it. This is a nude. Again, this is like in no particular order. I didn't like categorize them with uh, their colors. But this is a Jordana matte lipstick. This is 03 Simply Natural. Definitely more of a nude. And the reason why I love this for the fall is because it's almost like a pumpkin shade. It does have hints of pink. It's like a pinky peach. But I love this color because I love wearing smoky greens on my eyes. And um, this color just really complements a really good smoky green eye so this is it right here it's gorgeous I know it's definitely not your typical fall shade but you know sometimes you need you know a more subdued color on your lips if you want a more bold or lip um, eye color so that's why I added that one in there 
And then this one is 906D. And again, this is just another beautiful berry shade. Uh, this is another Wet n Wild matte lipstick because I'm obsessed with them. So, there she is right there. She's a beauty. So, I love that one. I, like, have no room for any more swatches. Let's see uh, if I can swatch some more on my hand. This is a Sula lipstick, and this is in Parisian Romance, but I've seen swatches of this uh, Parisian Romance from Sula, and it looks more purple. Mine looks more berry, so I don't know if the color is wrong. Maybe this isn't Parisian Romance, but I love this color nonetheless, so I will swatch it for you. Sula does have a website. This is a Canadian based brand. Uh, they were sold at Ulta, but unfortunately they're not sold there anymore. I love this color because it's a little bit more sheer. It's a little bit more uh, a subdued berry. Uh, but I will say that since it is a little bit more glossy, if you can see that there, you do need a lip liner or else it will feather. So just an FYI. This one is gorgeous. This is my first Illamasqua uh, lip color, lipstick. And this one is an Underworld. Now, you guys are probably going to think I'm crazy, but here it is right here. It's beautiful. It's like, um, people say it's like Stars and Rockets uh, Max eyeshadow. I've never owned that. I don't, you know, purchase Mac anymore. But just for a reference, they say it's very similar to that color, and uh, that's a shadow, and it just has a really nice, I don't know, duochrome. It's like a purpley blue, almost. I don't know. It's a crazy color, but it's gorgeous, especially, look at that, especially uh, with a lip gloss over it. It's just stunning. Uh, I think everyone should try this color out because it's just beautiful. Okay, the next one is a Milani lip color, and this is their HD Advanced Lip Colors. This one is in 106 Lovely Rouge, and this is another, like, glossy lip color that I would suggest a liner with, but look at that. It's just stunning. I love this color. These smell so good, by the way. These HD lip colors, they smell like watermelon. So that's that's a bonus. And then I have two Stila Longwear lip colors. This one is in Daring. And it does look scary, you know, when you first look at it. But it actually swatches not as dark as you would think. So, there is Stila's Long Lip Color in Daring. It's gorgeous. These are very buttery. They're very smooth. Uh, probably, I would suggest a lip liner with this color as well. Um, but it's not as necessary because they're not exactly glossy, but, you know, they're hydrating. So, that's Stila's Daring. And then, this is Stila's Long Lip Color in Paramore which is a brighter uh, berry shade. Sorry if my swatches are like horrible, but there is Paramore. It is gorgeous. Very, uh, very comparable to, uh, I want to say, uh, do, 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 where is it? The Wet n Wild matte lipstick in 9068 but this one just happens to be matte and this one is just a little bit more hydrating a little bit more glossy okay and then the very last one this you can find at CVS this is Salma Hayek's line and it is called Nuance I like the little flower logo there very pretty this one is in <clears throat> wine and this one looks very scary, but please do not freak out. It's not that dark. 
I wouldn't wear a very dark lip color like that. This actually swatches very light. There it is right there. So, I mean, compared to it in the tube, it's very sheer. And I find that a lot of, like, the darker lip colors look dark in the tube. And then when you swatch them, they're, like, not even as dark as what you would assume. So, this one, definitely you would need a lip liner. I like this color, especially if you're looking for a deeper color, but you don't like a really dark, dark, opaque lip, but you still want that wine shade, this one's perfect because it has that glossy finish. You can just like dab it on your lips and just spread it um, with your fingertips and it just looks beautiful. I love this color. Um, so this is probably one of my all-time favorites amongst all of these. So these are all of my favorite fall lip colors. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, if you want to see my favorite fall lip glosses, let me know in the comments below and I will do that for you guys. So thank you all for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.